computer. All right, so I guess y'all gonna go back and forth with the, um, like take turns with the comments and stuff. You know, I told y'all, I, I just realized because I, I don't do the power thing or whatever, but we're competing with power tonight. So we oh, may. Oh, yeah. I've never watched the show, so. Right. So we may have like some views and stuff, but you know. But anyway, all right. So let's go ahead and get, get started. Oh, let me pull up the uh the comments. Not the comments, but the, the topics for today. All right. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Monique, owner of Ashley's Yummy Tummy. Um, if you haven't already, go like my business page. Uh, it's on Facebook, Ashley's Yummy Tummy, uh, or Ashley's Yummy Tummy Catering. Uh, you can also order stuff off my website, ashleysyummytummy.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, Ashley's Yummy Tummy, or Ashley Monique843, bunched up together. Also, you can follow me on YouTube. Ashley, yummy, send me. All right, so we have my girls here. We got Courtney and we got Kiki. And so this is episode four of four of um, successfully single. Title is in the works, but currently right now we're all single. <laughs> but uh, it's called successfully single unfortunately okay uh so the first topic um that we're going to talk about and i'm excited to talk about this <laughs> i don't know why i'm so excited i think i'm excited because like i see these people like the, i see them like they they do a great job but the first topic that we're going to talk about is do studs make better parents step parents Meaning, and what I mean by that is like females that are, you know, in a lesbian relationship and uh, the woman that they're dealing with, their father, the father of her children are no longer in the picture, uh, either by choice, by force, however, but her girlfriend has stepped up to the plate and she's taking care of the kid. So what do you think? Do studs make better step parents? Do you, are you familiar with anybody that, like, do you know any relationships where, you know? Yes, I do, actually. Um, okay. But I don't know. I see this is why I didn't really care for this topic, because <laughs> I don't really see it as, like, a, it all depends on the person. It just it depends on the person itself. So that's just, like, a general type of thing. Like, it's, like, I don't know, like, okay so okay well let, let me give you a little bit more background okay so we all have social media right and then we all know people in real life so the people that i see be it real life or or virtually or whatnot i see these people um they get out of relationships with men uh their children's fa their father of their children and of course we see them complain oh he ain't shit enter like he don't take care of his kids enter um child support look for that child support upload and then next thing you know i see them with a a woman you know and i'm like hmm. so from what i see and what i know these women these single moms are doing way better in life with their partner their female partner and I'm like, she was never this happy with that with that man. He ain't never bought these kids all this stuff. These kids ain't never had no birthday party that looked like this. When I when they used to log on, they used to have bed sheets to the window. Now she would have. Now she got a girlfriend. Her girlfriend done upgraded her. Got the kids. They all got matching shoes. They got matching costumes. They just. I'm like, I'm so happy for them. Like. <laughs> So that's what made me be like, she upgraded. Like, did it take her getting with another female, be it a, I don't, be it a film woman or, you know, whatever, but they upgraded. Well, see, that's, that's my thing. Like, she just, it, it doesn't have to be like necessarily a better female she got with. She just got with a better person who was willing to step up to that plate. So, cause I mean, 
there's some studs who like we say men ain't shit so there's some studs <laughs> who ain't shit you so know what I mean studs that ain't shit or that's what you're saying that's I'm just saying like well, you know you, we know men ain't shit so we already know that thing but there's some studs who ain't shit either so it's like is it necessarily she only upgraded because she got with the stud or she upgraded because the, it was just a better person in general I mean the re- I think it was a stud like I, I think that woman brought the best out of her like I think she probably was on some these men ain't shit. I'm done with them. I'm over it. She done cried on some lady's shoulder. And that woman was like, you know what? You ain't got to worry about it. I'll take care of you and these kids. And I'll be damned if they don't be taking care of these kids. They These studs love these children. They do. I've they seen, I mean, on my, if we're children. talking like specifically like on our timelines and stuff, I've, I, I, I know, well, I don't know them, but I, I see a few on my timeline where yeah. they, they, treat them kids like they're the same but any person who's stepping up and acting like a step parent or being actively involved in someone's uh for, when someone's kids lives and stuff like that that's what they're right. supposed to do so I, I that's that's where I'm disconnecting with this topic because I'm like is it necessarily have to be like a stud man type of thing it's just a person uh, yeah because uh the reason why this topic is important and I'm saying a stud a female or a lesbian or whatever is because when the women leave out of the relationship with their child's father which is a male they still have their sheets to the women these kids ain't happy like she ain't happy she's still up they still be up uploading or uh, updating uh crazy facebook statuses next thing you know the, the they mug shot be floating around on the uh on your timeline but when when they get with these women these women just they just they just make them calm them down they just i've seen the same case with it happened with one one man just didn't want to take care of his kid didn't want to you know be involved didn't want to better him and his family and then she got with another man who was ready for that they're married flourishing got businesses you know so it's just like it's it's like it's the person i don't think it necessarily has to do with the lesbians and stuff now i will say this it seems like when the situation is where the woman gets with another woman and that happens, like there's like a, an ownership type of vibe that the, the stud has. Do you know what what I mean? What do you mean? Like they are more ready to throw in the other person's face or the guy who didn't step up. Like, Ah. I'm a better man than you and I got a pussy you know what I mean ah, like <laughs> ah. so oh, it's, yeah. it's, I, I do see that like when it's like the man doing like another man done stepped up or something like that they're not really on or at least mature men should I say right they're not really on they're not really worried about what the other one who didn't want to step up thinks you know they just like you know whatever he in the past but you know you know it's so crazy because like um Typically, I don't know why guys do this, which we need more male opinions on this this topic. I don't know why, like when their baby mother moves on, they be like, you better not have that man around my kids. So I want to do they do the same thing when when women go from them to another woman. Do they still say that you better not have that be around my kids? They say that? Yes. 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 Really? Yes. So so is so is so would that be considered like their manhood is intimidated or like what what do you think that is like why did it they shouldn't that? be if if you were doing what you were supposed to do for your kids it shouldn't be but I do think that's what it is they feel threatened because I mean some people don't agree with it whatever that's their opinion but it's like uh what what did Keisha was talking about one day when it's a it's just a man pride thing like okay okay like an ego and everything yeah yeah. And then that's so crazy because, like you said, if they was doing what they were supposed to do, then they wouldn't have to even. You wouldn't be worried about you it. Would be, you wouldn't you'd be, be worried like about the next person, family. huh? You'd be like a blended family. You'd be like, oh, okay, exactly, well, exactly. If anything, I would say, uh, not necessarily. I would say, don't have that person around my kids until like I actually meet them, or until you knew that you were serious about them, and then let's meet up together. Like, let's have like a luncheon or something. So I can see, you know, to feel the vibes and the energy. And I'm like, oh, if they're cool, then okay. Because I'm not here to cause no, y'all know what episode one, I don't cause no drama. I, I, look, it's cr- Christmas time coming up. I'm buying my uh, boyfriend's baby mama. I buy her a gift. Like, I don't want no problems with nobody. 
What's it called? I want to. I want to know what Keista thinks because she hasn't said nothing. But my sister Cordelia Reynolds. Hey, girl. Hey. Um. She said some women just understand how a woman needs to be loved, but there are men who get it too. We just gotta wait. Okay. I'll be waiting forever. It seems like. But okay. Girl, don't start. Don't 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 start that. Cause I'm about to be with you. We about to be. No, with neither one of us. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I'm getting my seven dogs now because I don't do cats. So I'm getting my seven dogs now. That's what I'm gonna die along with. <laughs> seven dogs. I ain't never coming to see you. I'm just. I'm virtually there. <laughs> Girl, you no. and my mama. <laughs> Look, that's what she said. My mom don't do dogs. So Me either. I don't do to... animals. Period. I don't know how my kids are gonna have pets. Because I don't do animals, period. And then that's so crazy because my dad's side of the family is like country as hell. Like, I mean, like goats, dogs, pigs, cows, horses. And I'm just like, Ugh. you know. No, uh. <laughs> so, you know. But Eric, yeah, so how do you feel about the topic? Um, do studs or lesbians make better step parents? And do you, do you like have some type of knowledge of that? Like, have you seen that before? you know like does the woman step up after you know they leave their baby father or a guy that they was dealing with do they make like better step parents your your knowledge from your you know uh well um let's just say i don't condone a bunch of stuff but, okay uh, right. just to speak on the topic uh sometimes it is that way but then you gotta look at it like we said before, like females are kind of raised to be mothers. Right. Female, right. you play with doll babies. You like, you have a female that's open, have an open heart, nine out of 10 faster to kids than you would a, a male. Don't right. get me wrong, you do have those males out there, but it's like the female is faster because it's like two mothers. So sometimes that, I mean, sometimes that is the case. Sometimes it's stepfathers that make the bear the parents. Like, like, um, Cordelia said, it's like, it's true. It, like anybody, anybody could be a good step here though. Yeah. That's, so, that's, basically, so basically it all boils down to like, whatever, whatever that mother, who, whomever that mother decides to be, you know, in her life and in her kid's life, they just need to be decent human beings. And I guess it would be like, you know, once they get that point, her and her kids are a package deal, you know? Right. Um, when so it gets to that point when it gets to that point because we don't talk about that right off the back no go, go back to the uh, previous episodes it maybe was like two or episode two or three but make sure you you know go look re, go back and listen to those episodes and if you don't find them on our mm-hmm. facebook page then they're most definitely on the youtube page like i said after jimmy is up there but um but yeah i think that's basically what what we kind of like all agree with that um whomever the mom chooses to be with after she leaves the father then um just hopefully they love her kids the same way she loved those kids all right you know all right okay so we're going to go into uh topic number two which is um not missionary but they what? <laughs> what? Not what? No t- <laughs> oh, what happened oh. Tyrone Williams, uh, I'm assuming he's talking about Keith. I mean, who else could he be talking about? Talking about, okay, <laughs> right. missionary, but they. <laughs> okay, okay. So, topic number two is um, are you sexually satisfying your partner, either currently now or either in the past? Are you sexually satisfying your partner or are you lacking certain bedroom skills? I can start. I'll be honest. Okay. All right. Uh, we can go. Um, uh, how we want to take this? I'll let you lead the way. I'm gonna try to be as vague as possible. I might just end up telling my business, but hopefully it won't get that far. I'm not that far down in my drink yet. Look, so. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. As far as sexually satisfying, or I won't say satisfying, because I feel like anyone who's not saying anyone but if they left me they were satisfied but do i feel like maybe i i can do more okay yeah i don't i don't consider myself (laughs) okay so so like if we had a scale right where it was like uh expert 
on the sex scale, you have expert, you're expert at sex, you're like good. Or <laughs> lacking some things, you know. So you got expert. Okay, we're gonna say expert, fair, good, poor. Where would you fall? I'm between poor and good. <laughs> Damn, right. No, I'm, if I'm being honest, I mean whatever. Okay, okay that's, lie, you, whatever, rate, that's but you rating yourself. Rating that's yourself. me rating myself. Right, I can't okay. speak for other people. Right. So me rating myself, I think that there are things that I'm lacking, but I also think I haven't nece- not necessarily had the opportunity, but I haven't allowed myself to get to where you need to be. Exactly. Okay. Which I would love to. I would love to like actually because you know they have like those classes. I didn't know that. However, they I'm do. Not surpri- they I'm have not surpri- like, you know, let me not demonstrate but they you know they have like the the d sucking classes like where they you know practice and stuff okay let and me then, you know okay. they have like um it's not dance classes but it's something along the lines of that of, like you know getting right. on top and stuff like that i would if covid but, wasn't happening that would probably be something i'd be so mentioning right now where they teach you I, I mean but you know what i'm not surprised because they do have like pole dance classes and you know but class for everything trust and believe especially here in california there's a class for everything wow well you know me i'm from the south uh you know i'm a, I'm a good old porn hub bitch <laughs> i will get on for um, first off i'm frugal so i like to save money so uh I, it's i think porn hub is like the youtube of sex you know so when i yeah okay, okay. so when I want to learn something, because I, me rating myself, uh, what I said, expert, fair, good, poor. I am between, not in between, I'm going to say I'm uh, fair. I'm fair. I feel like I'm fair. Um, There's about two things that I haven't, <laughs> that I, uh, don't be too quiet, Keisha. We ain't got to hurry yet. <laughs> there's like two things that I, one thing for sure I need to work on. And then there's one thing that I say, I ain't doing all that, bro. I ain't doing all that. Like you, you're doing too much. So the one thing I'll, I'll lead to people's imagination. The one thing that I need to work on, but the one thing that I say, I'm not like calm, chill out is anal. Like, I don't know about all that, but I like, do you know guys would try to mind fuck you to into doing those types of things? Like, they but like, you know they got anal bees. I'm like, who the fuck want to walk around with bees? But you know what? It's so funny that they want to do that so bad, but they don't want to reciprocate it because I heard that the male <laughs> default is in their anus. Let me tell you something. I will trick, not trick, but just to see how far a guy would go, just like how they be trying to see how far we would go, like with three cents and stuff, because I'm not with all that. I feel like I'm a big girl, so you don't need to, you know, I'm enough, all right? So I just recently learned about Remy. Are you familiar with Remy? I never heard of it. And when I, listen, I don't know if the government is hacking my, my, my phone but oh when they gosh. when they go through my phone, they're gonna believe what kind of freaky shit is she on. But let me tell you, when I found out about Remy, like I was watching video after I was like, females really do this shit. Like a lot of men, they're not gonna admit it, but I heard they I mean, like I'm not gonna it. do that. They like it. They like it. Cause I heard I don't know where I heard this from. I cannot remember. I don't know if it was like a documentary or what, but basically like we're back to the anal beads, like they would put it up his butt, right? A they would put up his butt and he would meal. leave it in there during intercourse, right? And so right when he was about to reach his climax, she would pull it out. And that made it like 10,000 times like more intense for him. Nasty bastard. <laughs> Mick nasty. <laughs> that is crazy. No, I'm not doing all that. But um, okay. So- I I'm laughing a lot. Just <laughs> we're not doing this. <laughs> it's not confession time. 
No. But for those of you who's not familiar with rimming, rimming is where, for what I saw, was where like if a girl is giving a guy oral, like he's on his back and she's like in between his legs and then like this guy literally picks up his legs like this. <laughs> Look at it like a girl, you know, like he picks up his legs and she spreads his cheeks open and then she just starts taking her tongue and she's just like a little lollipop. And while she's doing that, she's, you know, and I'm just like, look at him enjoying that. Look at him. Just, just look at his little nasty ass. I'm like, look at look at Kista. Are you familiar with, have you heard of Remy before? You know she ain't. I mean, honestly, if I was a guy, I've, I've I would heard of some stuff. I've heard of some stuff, but I have to tell you, the dudes I know, the family and all that stuff, they ain't too much going down for that. Now, Keisha, they consider that some gay shit. Gay stuff. But, but, now keep in mind though, if that's what he loves, I mean, then they can have that or whatever. It really, it really doesn't make him gay though. I, I have to say that it doesn't I mean, not make him gay, Technically, but, no, it doesn't. You're right. I, it, it's just the, the ones I know, just they, they ain't going down for that. The ones I've I never know. met anyone who was down for that. Oh, uh, you but, mean like, like you said, pause, Kista, that technically pause. not you technically, but it doesn't make them gay. You mean a straight man that y'all know doesn't? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I think a lot of the men that we know that's in our lives would consider that some gay shit or whatever, even though technically it's not. But I guess gay shit would be just having any type of sexual experience with another man or with the same sex, rather. Um. But if it's a woman that's doing it, because then that goes into like pegging. I think it's like pegging or whatever. Like, are you familiar with pegging? Like, I think pegging is where like the girl puts on like the strap on and she for sex. Like you said, the climax, Courtney, like the guy gets off on that uh, arousal, you know, from behind, you know? I'm trying to tell you the, I, and I truly believe this, not that I know from experience. Let's put that out there. I don't know this from experience. But from what I so you so you didn't do any independent research. No, 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 no. This is stuff that I've heard like experts right. talk about, or you know, like you know, stuff like that. That the the male uh, G spot is in the anus. <sighs> so so basically, so so you're saying more men need to. Start. I'm not saying they need to do that because <laughs> me personally, I done had a lot of girls talk about you telling me, oh, I should try anal. Like, all you got to do is relax. Da, 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 da. I will never I, find out. I ain't doing that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, they're like, it feels like so good. It's the best. Da, 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 da. No, it that may be true. Um, I'm not going to find that no, out. No, it don't. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who is it, Stefan Kirsten? Hey, Stefan. That's my cousin. <laughs> okay, well, cousin said he arrived. He arrived. And he's like, do he's like, do studs make better pa- step parents? Well, let me tell you. And then he was like, actually, it's the H spot, no homo. Oh, and he said, nah, that's dirty. What's dirty? The uh... be specific, Stefan. What's dirty? Uh, that is it. Is that Damien? That's for you, Courtney, though. I know he said, "What are you lacking, Courtney?" Though, take another shot of your drink before. Ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, be that's... specific, but just know. Oh, Stefan I... said the booty hole. That's nasty. <laughs> I agree, Stefan. I agree. Stuff is supposed to come out, not go in. That's what I said. I was like, it's 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 an external, not internal thing, you know. But um, as far as like the okay, so. You said the question about was, um, are you sexually, do you feel like you're sexually satisfying your partner um, or are you lacking certain bedroom skills? So Courtney, you say what you said. So Keisha, how do you feel? So on a scale, rate yourself. Are you in the bedroom when you was, before you found Jesus? Is it expert, fair, good or poor? So yeah, going off the past, um, past. I never had any complaints. 
Okay. Because you, you're rating yourself. You're rating yourself. Because, I mean, if we were rating us, if other people, if we was going by other people, then, I mean, I'd be off the scale. I mean, I'd rather I got not. exes calling me. It's the holidays. I got exes calling me now. So, can relate. I, I, you killed I can't me. say... I can't say expert because there's some things that I just refuse to do. Okay. That was that was asked of you. Right. That, okay. That, that, okay. Okay. So you know, so I can't say expert. All right. I know it wasn't poor. Okay. And then so what, like, what you said. You said you sound poor, like sound good. like you're going fair or good. It's, so you're either good or fair. Right. Yeah. It's either so, good or fair. So so which one? You in in the middle? Because you got poor at the bottom, good above poor. Fair above good and an expert. So we're gonna be in the middle of fair and good. Okay. Now, I, you know, I I might be, that's a huge might. You know, might want to <laughs> probably become an expert for my husband. Oh but, yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, just dealing with the past, like they weren't sticking around, so there wasn't no need to pull out no expertise <laughs> for them or none of that stuff. You said they weren't sticking around. They weren't sticking around anyway. They ain't here now, so. We ain't, ain't none of us got no hints why the podcast is called Success Successfully <laughs> We got our shit together. But you together. know, my problem is I overthink everything. I mean, but it's it's not your fault. It's not your, it's their fault. It's the men's fault because if I, it was the dude, I don't right, necessarily think that because I've been given the room to try or not necessarily try, but to practice. Does that make sense? But I'm just so afraid of being like, just like, huh? Disappointing. Yeah, like, cause you know, some. I mean, some guys are just really nice. They're just gonna be like, you know, keep going, you're doing great. You know, just keep da 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 da. But in the back of their mind, they're probably like, fuck this bitch. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I had a guy one time. My thing that I'm lacking that I need to work on, practice on. Oh. He texted me and he said he was like. You know, it was a, it was during roach hours. <laughs> you know, they when they come out at night, you know, it was during roach hours. And he was like, I want to see you. And he was like, yo, you need to practice on blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I told you I ain't know how to do that. <laughs> like, I told you. So, but I appreciated that he said that, you know, and he actually wanted to practice with me. But it was me. It was like my... It was me. It wasn't him. Like I'm a big girl, so I didn't. I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. You know, I was just like, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> you know, and he was, and he was like, girl, you don't get your ass up here. You know, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. But now, you know, I'm like, because I'm, you know, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to you know, do some things, you know, move on with my life. And now the the people, a person, you know, that I'm talking to, I'm like, you want to, you want to not necessarily impress them, but you want to go in like confident, I guess. You right. Can. Exactly. You want to go in confident. Exactly. You know? Cause you know, you already do, you know, we talked about the sexting on the last episode. So during sexting, you know, sexting, I'm the shit. I'm an expert. Like I'm an author, you know what I'm saying? I'm an author. Whole author. But then sometimes when they be like, oh, here, you know, they be like, uh, prove what you was talking about. You know, all that shit that you was talking about through the text message was good. You be like, now you know, I don't know how to. <laughs> like sometimes you gotta back that shit up, and I'm just like, I mean, I thought we was just playing. <laughs> I thought it was just funny. That's why you gotta be careful what you say. That's what I'm saying. I I'm whenever lying. I'm doing stuff like that, I'd be very careful because if it ever happens to where we get to that point, I'm not finna I'm not me. Let me tell you something. I am a freak when it comes to um a freak when it comes to sexting. No, but I got boundaries. I'm still not doing the anal. I don't care if it's a it's a mental, like a mental thing. You're still not fucking me in my ass mentally. I'm not doing it. Now some other stuff, you know, I'm a freak. You know, I'm like, oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. But um, I don't know. It's just like it's exciting. It's like I don't know. It's just it's amazing. I like. I actually kind of like sexing. Like that's why I say it's foreplay before the foreplay. 
So yeah, like I mean, when, when the when they pull up, it's already like exactly I, sexting is, is. I mean, this is going back to the last episode, but like sexting gets you hype. It it really like sets the tone, but when you start saying stuff that you refuse to do. Well, That's when you you gotta be careful. You know, you be like, I thought I just thought we was, you know, having a good time. <laughs> you know. But I don't I I kind of stay away from certain things. You know, I like I said, the things that I know I'm not gonna do. Hence anal. Like you would never, you know, we're not doing that. Even through text message, I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, so Oh, Stefan is going in over here. So I'm assuming he was talking to me when he said, be honest, we're all adults here. So I was I was honest when it came to because we did have to talk about the past. Like you probably said that before you started talking. And then well, you that's possible too. And then he said when Ashley said something about practicing, no, yeah, practicing. He said practice, um, talking about what we practicing again. When you talk about practice. Okay, so, like I feel like okay, this is what I this is what I just learned as an adult. First off, I feel like your friends with benefits, you know, that person where you just having a situation shit with roach hours, sneaky links, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that's when you take the opportunity to learn what you need to learn. Like, because there's no feelings involved, like um I don't want to be seen with you in the daytime for real, for real, unless we got 5% tent. <laughs> um, that's your opportunity to let that person teach you what or y'all can learn together because both of y'all may not know how to do certain things, you know. Like, let's say, for instance, like he's lacking the oral pleasing of the woman skills. So he can use her to practice that. And let's say, she's lacking the oral skills of him you know pleasing a man they can practice with each other what they call that shit six nine and not no takashi you know you can practice so i think you should choose a person just go through your little messages do whatever and choose a, a sneaky link person all right oh wow i don't know i can't relate on that situation but according uh... to Lee's, you're turning down offers which i don't blame you with certain of certain some of them but you know <sighs> Okay, so Stefan said you can't be afraid. What? And then he he said you can't be afraid. And then he said um the same with him, sex and he can write a whole novel. It's so it's I believe like, that. I believe that Stefan wholeheartedly. <laughs> and that's your people, Courtney. That's my cousin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like sexing is like an imagination. Like it's just like, oh, okay. Cause like I'll type something and then I'll be like nah i wanna and then erase 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 and, you, and then you just start doing it all over and then you read it again and you be like okay send you know oh wow yeah it's you like, know whenever yeah. this is a sidebar but you know whenever i be sending like messages like that whenever i finally send whatever i decide i'm gonna send i always put my phone down why <laughs> because i can't handle the <laughs> wait anxiety on the page. Oh, God. i'm trying to tell you i overthink everything so if i send a text i'll be like <laughs> but you you're gonna hear it though right like you're gonna hear the ping well not necessarily because i keep my phone on vibrate most of the time so okay. i'll like put my phone down try to get distracted with something else and then like i'll randomly pick up my phone i'll be like oh. i don't even have my notifications to where when i pick up my phone i can read it <laughs> so you have to go looking for stuff i have to go in the app to look at it it'll show me i have a notification from that person but Why it won't for situations like that or if someone oh else picks God. up my phone because uh, you know when with the iphone if it's if it's uh for at least well i think all iphones do this but like if your phone's like you have there's a feature on there where if you lift up your phone it lights up okay. so if i have a message or something and someone lifts up my phone i don't want them to see my message oh okay all right, so are we closing out? How do you want to close out this uh, question too uh, about sexually satisfying your partner, our practice? So Courtney, how do you plan on fixing your problem? I mean, clearly I need to find a situationship. Correct. Or something like that. Something, someone who's willing to teach me and understands that. 
I am uh very scared of embarrassing myself. So now they gotta be you, gentle with me. Okay. <laughs> Please okay, so now when you decide to choose this situation, you don't want feelings attached, or or would you like for it to possibly have feelings attached? Like y'all could potentially be something because you know, as women, we can't we we try to be like a guy where we be like, I'm not gonna like him, but then you be like, why you ain't calling me? I mean, ideally, the next person I'm with, I would like to actually be at least in the process of doing something more and more on the same page that this is becoming something more but the way it's looking for me (laughs) I know that then probably the next thing that happens for me is going to be like a situation shit but that's just me being realistic with myself because I've already done I know I know my role in this world (laughs) so yeah well first off I would like to say uh for all situationships out there do not feel guilty about this they are needed to prepare you for who you're supposed to be with you know all right so what about you Keisha like are you going to how are you going to handle or become better move bump yourself up to great for your next relationship or are you just going to wait until you get into that relationship and say hey I'm lacking blah 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 so if it gets to that point you're going to have to teach me a couple things. Um, I probably, I don't know. I probably would wait until I get there for the simple reason um, I might could learn all this stuff and he not care for it. He might not like it because, you know, I plan for my next relationship to be the last, but uh, that's a goal. And uh, I'm with you on that. All right, so I rather, I rather <laughs> wait. <laughs> right, I rather wait till you know me and him get together, th- so then I can become basically so I could be his expert. Let me put it that way. Okay. Okay, sister booty. Okay. okay. I, yeah, I want to like be my husband's expert. Right. Like okay. That. Okay, so realistically, that's what I bring to the, the show. I've been considering promoting someone <laughs> to be my situation. And it's weird because in the pro- <laughs> what? I'm, I got options. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Can't relate, but go ahead. Go <laughs> so I was considering uh, promoting somebody to my situation to help me um become better at what I know men like you know uh but in the process of that I actually met someone that I like so I'm kind of like on the fence of like uh, should I just continue talking to the person that I like and then he just teach me what he likes because I'm also hoping that that is the, my last person as well you know, ready to slide the ring from the right hand to the left hand. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm trying to, uh, but they got into um February. And then by February, my situation is about to be promoted. I'm, I'm prancing. I'm prancing. Prancing away. So, all righty then. All right. So let's move into the third topic, which is, do you believe that he say, or she say that comes from your friends when it comes to your man. For example, let's say, okay, so let's say uh, Kista calls me because she's at a woman's conference or something, you know? And so she say, girl, I saw Columbia up here in Charleston. I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute, hold what the hell is Columbia, my Columbia, doing in Charleston? Well, he's supposed to be in Florence at work. Because that's what I was told, you know. So the thing, so I got a couple options here. I can go off like, okay, all right. 
because I believe Kiki, I believe her. You know, why would she lie? That's my friend. That's my classmate. We got years in. Why would she lie? And then also, I got the option of, that's my man. We didn't put in a couple years. He know better than to lie to me. He know I violate my probation. He, he, why would he do that? You know, he know this ankle monitor go off. Why would he do that? So you kind of like in a pickle because you're like, I want to believe her because she has no reason to lie. I want to believe him because he know I'll go to that ass. And then also you'd be like, but then you don't know she lying. You don't know if he lying. You don't want to mess up your relationship, your friendship with her. You don't want to mess up your relationship with him by bringing it to him because that's one thing men do not like. They don't like gossip. They don't like nagging. They don't like questions. They just, they don't like nothing. So. Do you believe when the he say, she say come to you from a friend? How do you, wh what do you do? Oh, you, oh, you want me to go for it? Uh, so when it comes to that, it depends. Okay. Break it, it down. Depends. Break it down. So do I feel like I can trust this friend? And do I feel like I can trust this man? Well, if I feel like I trust this friend, it, I don't immediately take her word and then flip on them. I start to investigate. I start to find out some things. So like using the example that you said, let's just flip it. So if you tell me, you see mine over there where you at, and I know he's supposed to be over there, I'm going to ask you for what he's wearing. I'm going to ask you for what he's doing. I'm going to ask you for all that. Because then now I'm either going to call, or I'm going to text, and I'm going to say, hey, what you doing? Hey, where you at? And right. then some of this is, and like you could tell if they're trying to kind of lie where they are or lie about what they're doing because it's just something that they're going to leave out. It's something that they're going to tell that just doesn't sound right. Like it really wouldn't add up. So then you sneak it in there and be like, ooh, so what you got on? Like y'all love asking us, so what you got on? What you got and, on today? Uh, right. Like what you got on today? What you wore today? You, what, what you put on? So it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see. I have had females in my past that was supposed to be friends, right? That actually helped the dude cheat on me. Mm. So that's why I say, it, like, it all has to depend. Like, can I trust him? Can I trust her? Uh, if I feel like I can trust both, then I am gonna. The questions will be, what he got on? What he doing? Where is he at? Or whatever the case may be. Because then I'm going to now text him and talk to him. But I'm like, just make sure he don't see you. Because right. as soon as he see you, they, he's going to know. know. Oh, they know. Right. He's going to know exactly what to asking. say, how to say it. He's going to know everything to flip, all that stuff. So that's why I'm like, just make sure he don't, you know, make sure he don't see you while you're like, Tell it, you know, telling me this thing here, but but you do have to kind of like be careful when it comes to right when it comes to both of them. You just got to be able to know your friend, and you also got to be able to know the man as well. Yeah, most definitely got to know the friend because, like, if your friend has a history of first off, if my the part that female has like a thing of lying to me nine times out of ten, I probably as as an adult, as a thirty five year old now, I'm probably not even dealing with you anyway. But um, I try to keep like realistic people you know honest people genuine people in my life at this point um so yeah i totally understand what you're saying i get it i mean i'm you just gotta know the company you keep uh that's i mean i think that's the bottom line to it you gotta know the company you keep i think every person that i would call a friend at this point in my life if I was dating someone and they caught them, you know, out with somebody else, blah, 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 whatever situation it might be where they knew like something was shady was going down. Every friend that I have in my life, I know wouldn't come to me on some bullshit about that. Right. Right. That, so, I mean, cause I know I, there's some girls who have big friend groups and, you know, they got frenemies and <laughs> all that stuff like that. But you just, you have to know the company you keep. If you, if you have to sit there and question Cause don't okay so right so at the end of the day you would love to put your your partner on a pedestal right with 
you know, what's us is between us. We don't have to, you know, every time I have an issue, I don't have to call my girlfriend or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it stays that's, inside that's the, the house. ideal thing, right? Right. So that's how I would want to keep my relationship. I don't want to have to call my best friend every single time that I have a tit and tat with you or anything else like that. However, my best friend is not going to call me and be like, I've seen such and such, or I've seen, you know, Carl out here. Oh, please don't let me be with somebody named Carl. I've seen <laughs> Carl out here, you know, driving this girl around in his, you know, his Ultima or whatever. I know for a fact she's not going to call and tell me that just to start some shit. You right, know what I right. mean? Right. But there are some girls in some big friend groups who do that because maybe they're envious. Maybe they just don't. Maybe they just plain just don't want you happy. So you just... You just got to know the company you keep. And you know, that's another topic also. Well, you said two things that could be like spinoff topic, spinoff, which is um the company you keep and, you know, that little phrase, birds and feathers flock, flock together. But um, but most definitely the, um, damn, what you just said? The uh, watching the company you keep. But we, my thing, we're all grown. Like, I, I, I totally agree with what you said as well about if you're the people that you currently have in your life, if they come to you and say, Hey, I saw him with, you have no reason to doubt them. You have no reason to doubt them because they ain't steered you wrong yet, you know? And why would they? Um, but uh as far as me, uh I agree with both of you guys. Um, I'm I'm very well, y'all already know that I don't really do the title thing and you know, all that other stuff. So you really got to work on that. We're going to put that in one no, of the No, no, I don't know about that. I've been to therapy and that thing. Like, <laughs> I am good, right? I think you know, I didn't want to get married. Like, I'm considering doing that. Like, if a great man comes along, I'm willing to say I do. You know? I was actually honestly. I feel like you'd be one of the people that have a panic attack right before you walk down the aisle. Oh, no. I'm most definitely going to have anxiety. Look, I'm going to have to have a Beyonce fan. Like, I'm going to have to, because I'm going to be like, sweat, I'm going to be like, <laughs> Whitney, you better stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm just from Whitney that got her started. What's she saying? <laughs> Whitney saying, now, Courtney, did you have a date or something? Because why you look this <laughs> good on this here live? But she, she said all y'all. So she said all us look good. Thank you, Whitney. She trying. Thanks, Whitney. Thanks, Whitney. Oh, don't get don't get Courtney start. Please don't get Beyonce started. I mean, Whitney be on my timer. I don't know her personally, but I've always like admired her and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I admire what she's doing in her life and everything else like Aww. that. So when she be saying like stuff like this, I mean she <laughs> no, she didn't miss. Oh, she was asking, she said she late. She was asking, did she miss all the topics? She No, no we're currently didn't. on the third one, which is the uh the uh, do you believe that he say she say uh when your friend comes to you and say hey i saw your guy or your girl with somebody else with another guy or girl it's like do you do what what do you do like of course you stop in that moment who do you what do you do like do you believe what your friend that's con calling you saying or do you just be like nah my man wouldn't do me like that you know but me, like I said, y'all know how I am about titles and friendship and stuff. So if y'all came to me and said that, first off, I'm going to be like, go live. Like, not because I'm saying I don't trust y'all because I trust y'all 100%, 100%. It's that motherfucker that I'm not trusting because I know he going to come and try to, man, that won't me. how I get from, think about it, how I go from Florence to Charleston like I'm like because they lie so bad they lie so damn bad and then they mind fuck you you know to the fact where you be like you know what how did he get from Florence ain't no way you could get from Florence to Charleston like that Keisha you lie and then now he got me beefing with Keisha right Keisha they got no reason to lie to me Courtney ain't got no reason to lie she in California like there's no reason but you know i see what you're saying because i feel like my best like my best friend like my best friend tavy she um i feel like if she ever saw like if i was currently dating someone and she ever saw them out like with somebody else i feel like she would have sent me a pic 
Yeah, I need that. I, 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 I would feel like that's that would have been her first thing. She would have she would have took a pic and when she would have sent it to me and she would have been like, "Girl, look who I see." Or she she probably would have been funny when it. She probably would have been like, "Who was that?" <laughs> kind of like going up to him and doing it. Well, she would. Tavi is the type of person who would definitely go up to him. Ooh, I like her. Tavi is definitely the type of person, especially let her be at a bar or something like that, and she already got a drink in her. Tavi will definitely be that girl to be like tapping on his shoulder, like. Let me tell you something. I like her. The, re- the reason why I say I like her because that's me, and I don't need a drink. You know, I don't need a drink like that. But let me tell you something. First off, I'm taking pictures from behind like afar and then i'm just gonna take my camera and i'm zooming in and then i'm gonna do a couple boomerang videos so you because i know courtney you love boomerangs so i'm gonna do a couple boomerangs for you you know <laughs> and then the after i get everything i need then that's when i'm walking up and i'm gonna be like world star you know like <laughs> because what you think you're doing like you cheating on my friend that's affecting me because I got to hear her, you know, with all this, this, this crime and, I, and you, it's just a lot. And I can't deal with that. I got, I got businesses to run. I'm trying to find me a husband. I'm trying to trap a nigga. You know, I'm trying to get babies. I ain't got time for all that. You know, so I'm, I'm walking up on it. So ain't no discrepancies about who told you. Cause you know, they love I, who told you they probably lying anyway. They, they, they just don't want to see us together. They don't want to see us happy. No you're not already happy with me yeah. right why are you stepping outside this relationship but you know i think that's always why i'm a little sketchy when men are like i don't want your friends to know all the business right it's because- like on a certain level i agree with that like my friends shouldn't know every little thing that's going on in our relationship even my best friend Tavi, that person shouldn't know every little thing that we goes on in our relationship she shouldn't know that However, if you are always trying to make it a point, like even if like, cause you know, you, I think when you talk about like mental health, like I need someone to vent to and I can't vent to you about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Glad you said that. That's why I believe in therapy. Like you, honestly, I know, I know people, you need your own individual therapist. If but, you, that, but other you people act like that. Friend, but I mean, don't get me wrong, like other people act as that. Like my best friend sometimes, like it's I make it clear, like I'm like, I don't want to hear your opinion. I just need you to listen. You know right. what I mean? And so like if I'm like, you know, at a point where I'm like, I need to talk about this and I can't talk to you about it because you know, I can't get what I'm feeling off my chest if you're sitting there trying to counter everything that I'm saying. You know what I mean? Right. I just need someone to sit there and listen to me. So if you have a problem with that, like, cause some men are just like, you know, you shouldn't be talking to such and such at all about us, but it's like, I need someone to vent to about you. I can't vent to you about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like men who are like offended or even get, um, uh, scared about that. That makes me think I'm like, what are you hiding? What did you, what what are you exactly? Or what are you trying to keep in this house? Gonna go outside this, these four walls. Because you're doing something outside these four walls. Exactly. Man. And what are you friend, scared? Yeah, when my friends see you at that bar, she's going to be like, hold up. Courtney's supposed to be, Courtney, what the fuck are you doing? You know, and then it start adding up. Because right. she, looks, and she then, remember those conversations that y'all had, you know, like. Right. And then what are you so scared that she's going to try to say to me to put in my head that you don't want me to think? You know what leave, I mean? To leave him. Exactly. Or even so, like. If like you do something shady, right? And maybe I'm like, this is just too much. I want to talk about this, right? So, and you know, maybe we got into an argument when I brought it up. And so I'm telling my best friend Tavy, like, he did some shady stuff. You shouldn't be threatened if she's like, oh, he's cheating, because you should know I have a mind of my own. Absolutely. And you know if what I mean? Do what he's supposed to do at home. It shouldn't be something to be to worry about. It, w- it wouldn't be nothing. I mean, there's nothing. If anything, when he say, oh, that bitch jealous or she just want what you got, you know, it can be sincere when he says that, you know. But the, the number one thing here is that we know our friends, be it female or male friends, way before we know in that relationship. So uh, until, until you're my husband, my friend is taking is, is up here because she or he has no reason to lie. 
like no reason whatsoever. And let me see the traits in my friend to make me feel like, damn, you know, hypothetically, let's just say, you know, that, um, you know, cause y'all know I was a big advocate on not getting married, but now I'm, I'm changing, you know? So let's just say using you, Courtney, for example, you, you do care about the big wedding and everything. So let's say I do get married before you do. And so, but you, and then let's say you have a little tint, you know, a little sprinkle of jealousy here and there. You're like, she didn't even want to get married. I'm the one that wanted to get married. You know, I get it. But come to me as a friend, you know, and we could talk about it. You know, I can be like, you know, good and damn well, I didn't want to do this, but he's a good man. I mean, he's, I mean, Italy. You know what? I'm the type of friend. Italy. (laughs) Italy. I'm the, and I'm the type of friend who will be like, you know, I'm hating, right? <laughs> like after, after after the initial, like, oh my God, you get married. Like we done been through that a few times. Like we done seen each other a couple of days and we done, you know, be like, oh, she getting married. I'd be like, you know, I'm hating, right? You know, I'm hating. And it's, we will have that conversation. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, I'd rather you do it like on, you know, I'm hating, right? Like on some jokey type stuff, but I know you serious. Versus yeah, it's like, like one of those, serious jokes like right. I'm, I'm serious like I'm hating a little bit but of course I'm gonna be my happiness for you is gonna outweigh that 10 times and I, I would rather you do that versus you low-key sabotage me meaning oh, like your, your ass ain't showing up to the fit no time you ain't showing up to the take the cake testing the catering test. I'm like well, where the fuck where, she, where is Courtney I'm here, he, like you, like you said, the uh, the rich auntie. Like you come in with the big shades, the fur coat. I'm like, I'm gonna still come in like that, but I'm gonna come in on time. <laughs> You're wearing white to the damn wedding, like okay. Well, first of all, I don't think I'm not doing white, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I get it. So I think guys need to take from this this conversation, this discussion here that um. Oh, let's. What? some of the comments um okay so sugar knock said definitely believe my friend she's definitely not gonna lead me astray correct i'm with you sugar <laughs> um <laughs> she also said yes sir. his ass gonna last <laughs> like like a rug like a motherfucking <laughs> rug and then Whitney oh she said oh man Courtney you're in California I'm sad I thought we had a chance to have a girl's day girl I'll be in the east coast soon <laughs> and then she said yes the proof is does help tremendously stefan said i don't have it in me to cheat honestly don't see the point listen i know y'all gonna probably think what i normally think when men would say like that be like oh but he's for real stefan is for real stefan stefan is real straight like what's his zodiac sign stefan what is your zodiac sign which I'm, I honestly don't know, which I'm curious because I don't know why we always get along so well. I'm curious to know that. Um, but he said, uh, I don't have it in the Honestly, I don't see a point. He said, that shit painful. He said, I'd rather break up with a girl than mess with someone else than mess with Thank someone you. while I'm still with you. Um, you. Whitney said, absolutely. I think it's very necessary to have boundaries when it comes to your relationship and friendships. No matter how good a friend you are, something should only be between you and your partner. Correct. Uh, she also said, I just don't like when folks take their relationship problems to their friends all the time because when you forgive your partner and y'all your are friends is still upset. As the evil person yep. you told them about. That family too, though. I agree. Yep. Um, Stefan said, I low key don't even want a wedding, rather sign the papers and save the money for the honeymoon. But if my girl wants girl wants one i'm all for it. I feel that, Stefan. And that's a trend. A lot of people are doing that. They're like, let's you have this little cute. Go Ceremony. to the courthouse, take some pictures. Let's spend the money on the, the honeymoon. Um, but he said, but I guess that's why a wedding is more of a day for the girl than the guy. It so is because uh, my wedding. <laughs> um, oh, Stefan is a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Of course you are, Stefan. <laughs> of course you are, Bless my cousin. <laughs> Bless your heart. Are we caught up on comments? I think so. Uh, my sister said hashtag Leo. <laughs> all right. So we've all decided that we are believing our friend. Yes. And I believe my friend for sure, but give me some proof. And it's not because I think y'all are lying, but it's because 
he's gonna lie and i just need to you know what? Didn't he right. too? whitney don't tell me you a leo girl because now we got we gotta meet up for real <laughs> Bless y'all heart. <laughs> but listen, though, so, you know, I want to tell you though, you can always tell though, like if you can't trust a friend, if you got yeah. that friend that um when I say they always trying to like come between y'all two, that that I kind of wouldn't trust. You know, and you know, that it, it's it's iffy on the coming between you two because at one point in time, like, cause like I said, I've, I've done some self-awareness, you know, I, I guess I could have been considered that friend that come in between you two, but I'm, I really wasn't. I'm just the no nonsense friend. Like I was the friend that every time a guy do something, I'm like, leave that nigga, break up with him. It ain't worth it. So that would come <laughs> off as I'm jealous or, you know, but I have my own situations, you know? So of course I'm not jealous, but I just like, I don't like to see my friends hurt. I don't. I most definitely get tired of hearing the same damn conversations over and over. He did this. He did. Just leave. It's not that. It's not that hard. Like, girl strength. I mean, and what they say. How the old people say. Um, the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else, on top of somebody else. You know. I believe it. But uh, I wouldn't know. Ain't nobody trying to get under me. Oh my god. All right. So next last topic for the night is do you have social media rules for your relationship? We sprinkled on this in our own uh personal chat. So so Keisha, mm-hmm. would you like to start it off with um when you're in a relationship, like you could talk previous and and you can talk current like going into like your marriage will you have social media rules like instagram most most definitely like facebook like are you saying you don't need to do this because you a married man you like is there like bam 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 uh if i'm understanding that correctly no and the reason why i say that is because you you can i mean Let's just use Facebook because that's what I mainly have. I have Facebook. Right. Myself. A lot of people, yeah. So Facebook, like people be getting mad. So you like their picture or you heart their picture or you did this or you did like it's just a reaction. Like, let's be serious here. I mean and I hear a lot of people say, Oh, well, if they looking at the picture to react to it, that's just how it starts. No, looking is not how it starts. I'm I'm sorry. That's just me. Everybody won't agree. Everybody don't go with this. But looking is looking i mean i don't care what you say how you say it looking is looking it does my problem is when physical stuff starts to happen physical contact come through that's when my problem is but as far as you reacting commenting but because to be honest with you half the stuff that's on facebook and it ain't real Half these people ain't happy. Half these people don't have no happy home. Half these people ain't got this, don't have that. Half these people are struggling and just not going to show you. Half these people, like, half of the what is, is what it is. And I know I know a young, a young guy, I know a young guy that he's, <laughs> my thing is he said he doesn't like a female with makeup. Now, nothing against y'all two. Nothing against y'all two. But I'm going to tell you why. You mute, Ashley. I'm going to tell you. You mute, Ashley. And I'm going to take offense. Keep the, I don't care. I don't care. take offense. Because let me, let me tell you. Because I asked that same question. He said he, he doesn't like a female with makeup. But if you're going to wear makeup, not too much. Okay, because yeah. Because he feel as if if you have a lot of makeup on, you're hiding something. You're and he wants no. beauty. But, but no. I must say, I must say, I used to try to figure out why fe- a lot of females were wearing makeup. Ashley, well, they don't know who this is, but we got a classmate that okay. I saw why they wear makeup. And I said, wow, okay. Now me, I didn't think it was bad, but they did. And so I said, okay, so some people are wearing makeup to cover up some stuff. 
Some people are wearing makeup to make a even skin tone. Okay. Some people are wearing makeup because of pimples or freckles or whatever the case may be, or to in, just enhance that stuff because that's what right. they love. That's their thing. But I mean, I'm just saying that was just his preference. Right. But right. the thing of it is, like him liking her video, her, him liking her picture, and she got on all the makeup and this and, that and the other. At the end of the day, as long as you're here, I don't have a problem. You can like it all day long because. I guarantee you, if Aquaman come down my timeline, I'm definitely gonna heart that right there. Y'all know I love Mr. Aquaman. So I'm just saying. So I mean, looking is just looking. I don't okay, care. so okay, so what what if it goes into the it went from the heart, like, oh bless her heart, you know. Cause see, that's probably how you looking at a heart hit you. Like, oh bless her, oh, that's cute. <sighs> I I I just I don't know. But what what if you see them in the inbox? Like, cause you know, women go from, instead of just letting it be the heart or that man liking it, she'll be like, she'll go over, she prancing over into the inbox and saying, hey, thank you for the heart. Thank you for the light. You're just trying to start a conversation with my husband. I don't know well, anybody who, I don't know anybody who says thanks for the light. Oh, well, you that like was somebody, in what, 2006? Way back when Facebook started, I don't know way anybody back. who said that. Yeah, but, they, but you still have. I'm gonna get to my point when y'all done. The, there's some people that says thank you for accepting my friend request and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But my own my my only thing is, what is your response? What for when you say um? Are is you she, talking, what, what's your what's your dual response? Right. What is your response? So your response could be, oh, you're welcome, and keep it moving. Uh, but if the response is to keep going to say, well, you know, what well, you don't say, well, you do know I'm married, right? Or, you know, I was just... They know you married because they got it on Facebook. And all that stuff sometimes. But, like, all that, I mean, that's, that's what I'll that's what I watch, though. I, I, I would see as far as, as that. But I'm going to I'm gonna have the trust in him that that's... That's the only way to it. I get. I start you with a little bit of trust, and you either gain some more trust or lose what you got. Right, right, right. And number one or two things that can happen is either you gain or you lose. But I just don't. I'm not big on the because you hard stuff. I'm definitely not big on social media because uh, when I when I was in a relationship, I I never changed it. It's the relationship status still. Yeah, I, was, I never that, did a profile picture. I, know, I just didn't do it. And the be, reason being, I'm like, well, I do want to make sure. I want to know if they're going to be here. Now, I might do it once I'm married. But before then, I'm not going to do it because I, I just don't want to be one of the ones that keep changing. I have to keep changing. Yeah. I, yeah. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't mm. I'll let Courtney go. Go ahead, Courtney. <laughs> um, well, Whitney, I don't shoot my shot. But... <laughs> But when I say like don't nobody do that, I think that was Miss uh I think that was uh y'all don't understand what I was saying. I was saying like people don't do that. So when they do that, they are just looking for conversation. You know what I mean? Like that's not like a norm. You know how like people oh, okay. all I the see time. They're purposely doing that. They're yeah, exactly. That's when I when I said don't nobody do that, I meant like no one does that without trying to start a conversation. That's what I meant by that. Like you know how the poke thing was the thing, but you would get poked get by everybody. You poke. get poked by your aunt, yeah, I was gonna do the and poke everything else like that. And then slowly but surely, when nobody was poking no more, the people that were poke are the people that was trying to slide into your DMs. They're like, hey, how you doing? So I'm like fine. when people um yeah. When people like, cause I there there's been some guys who like, thank you for accepting my friend request. And in my mind, I don't, I never respond to those, cause I'm like, I just hit a button. Like, calm down. Okay, okay. So hold up, and let's let's do a survey. Is that men that say that, or men and women that say that, or is this usually only guys that say that? I mean, I don't get hit on by women. In, but we're, well, we're talking about I get hit on by you? drunk white women in the bars, but I don't get hit on. I don't get hit on by women in my thing. But it's usually when a guy is like, "Thank you for my, thank you for uh, for accepting my request." Accepting my request, they're usually that's the beginning. He's trying to thing. start a conversation. Exactly. So I, I never respond to it because I'm like, all I did was hit a button. You ain't got to do all that. Well, you know, um, I started getting more um attention per se uh during the COVID situation so I don't know if it's because men been bored <laughs> or whatever but um 
it was I got the where are you from like because of stories or whatever there's like where are you from and I'm like I'm born and raised in Mayor all my life I just ain't been outside on the porch like that you know but um my thoughts and views on social media relationships <laughs> over overall I honestly don't want my guy on it to be honest with you. and that's not because of like some insecurities are jealous but I just feel like a lot of guys that I talk to what Keisha like to say real men <laughs> they don't be on social media like they don't be on this internet stuff because they got they work in 12 to 16 hours you know uh they got they a provider they they mostly paying all the bills you know like they just got shit to do other than be on social media because they consider that a woman thing it's a gossiping thing it damn sure is a messy thing now back in 26 2006 when i think when i first got on on facebook my space don't count because it ain't here no more but when i first got on facebook like it was just for college students. Like it was just a, oh, I hadn't seen them since high school. You know, it was boring back then, but it was it was like some LinkedIn type stuff, you know, more like a resume. But now it's popping. Like now it's like exciting. It's for someone like me who's now in the club or getting lit or hey, hey, like I just be laying in my bed or just I'm like, damn, they they fighting again. She pregnant again. He locked up again. You know, it is mess. You know, because they don't let everybody in. It's like the club. They ain't checking. Nobody at the damn door no more. It used to be you used to have to have a degree. It was like a country club. Facebook was like a country club. Like you had to have a college membership to get in. Now it's just everybody gets to get in. It's the hole in the wall, the hood spot. So I, if I find a man that does not have social media, there's two things. Because I'm a realistic woman. One, he's probably living a double life and he don't want to get caught the fuck up. You know, because women, we first thing we do, what you say your name was again? Enter, you know. We go look for, even if he don't have one, what happens is he maybe was at a cookout or uh, at a car show, you know, during the summertime, somebody took a picture of him and then they typed his name in. So at least you, he tagged in something. But... And if he don't have a social media at all, like, that's amazing to me. Like, I low-key think he's, like, under the witness protection program or something. Like, I'm like, who doesn't have Facebook? Even if you're just doing it to just, like, look, to be nosy. But real men, they don't give a damn about being nosy or messy. Like, they like to read the newspaper. They like the sports. They like ESPN. They like CNN, they like. I mean, they got bills. They but they, men talk about that on social media. I be so confused. You know what? I be like, how do you get links for social media? And you always click on the links to the social media. You might as well just get your social media. I said, just you. I be telling guys, I'm like, just use it, just to look. You know, you don't have to like update a status or you know. But that's just my purpose. Like, um. So I prefer guys that actually don't have social media. And as far as like my relationship, even when I get in one or I, I am in one, um, I do not upload guys. I don't, I don't, I just don't do that. So if I am in a relationship, I'm not changing my status. When I get married, I'm not changing my status. I might, I may change my, my marriage status, but I'm not tagging my husband you know, so y'all can go click on his profile and then all of a sudden you little bald head bitches uh, be sending him a friend request. That's another thing, Courtney. They be sending boyfriends friend requests and stuff. I'm like, who do that? But that's the, that's the, <clears throat> we're clashing on this right here. That's the thing. You can send him a friend request all day. No. That's, at that point, doing. that's no longer... You can't blame the woman. Like, okay, so if a woman is sending your man a friend request, you're going to get mad at her for sending him a friend request or you're going to get mad at him for accepting it? Uh, both. But he's going to no. get it even, he's gonna get <laughs> no, it even more. No, that woman because, doesn't owe you anything. No, I know that. But I'm just, this. you asked me a question, I'm going to answer it. I'm mad at her because first off, we're just Facebook friends. Like, if you're not in my inner circle, there's no reason for you to even 
send him a, a friend request. Okay, but, and that may be true, but at the end of the day, are you going to get mad at her who does not owe you not one thing because y'all don't even know each other like that? Exactly. She does not owe you nothing. So you're going right. to get mad at her for sending him a friend request, but you oh. he's accepting it and he that's don't know her? That's what I'm saying. I'm getting and mad he's at looking her. at the mutual friends and like you're the only one and he's like, oh, well, I'm just going to accept it. Never no. heard you talk about this girl no. day in his life. That doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Now, no. when you update your status, I don't like the girls that you you update like you're in a relationship or you got engaged and then you barely even talk to that girl anyway other than some social media shit and then we can talk about oh our next topic social media etiquette meaning y'all are facebook friends our instagram friends you see them out in public you're supposed to speak you're supposed to say hey how you doing you ain't gotta have no conversation but you hey how are you like i do that all the time like if i'm like not zoning and focused you know i do that all the time but yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to feel some type of way about her, this stranger sending my boyfriend or my hu- my husband, because that's the only way I would update, you know, but I'm not putting him up there. But yeah, I would be upset. But of course, the the anger and the words and the action is going to him, because I'm going to be like, so how you, uh, how you but know, uh, Dorito? There's literally no point in getting upset at her, though, if you don't know her. It's not upset like I'm, hey, why you sent my no, not but that. I'm saying just, like even the second thought of like, oh, she's shady for that. Like Courtney, realistically, we all do that shit. We all look at something on our timeline and be like, crazy. And then we just we keep going. So that's what I mean by that. I'm not saying like I'm, saying, I'm taking energy to give to her and be like, why was she? Da, da, da. No, I'm just be like, look at this bitch. Anyway, and I'm going to him. But I'm gonna realistically, as a human being, I'm going to say why would she send him a friend request no i get I that part but i'm saying like to even put any like i'm not gonna tag my man in this because of the possibility that this shady person might add them i think that's crazy oh that's what you're saying oh i'm not taking i don't tag men period <laughs> no i'm not i'm not saying like you shouldn't either because i mean like my next relationship i don't plan on even acknowledging him on social media until At like all. six months in. as you should not it's right at least six months in and, and at least to the point where i think that like just going somewhere you know type of thing but like i wouldn't like say if i got married i would i still wouldn't not tag him and stuff just for the thought of some shady bitch on my page oh yeah yeah like, yeah, I, yeah might I, add I, him yeah it now let, okay well, I, I see what you're saying now so let me clarify if i was the type of female or social media user that did not that was an avid, oh, we're here, oh, we're there, we're, you know, just always posting pictures like that, oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that, and I'm still going to be like, look at this bitch sending him a friend request, and I'm still taking the energy to him, yeah, that, but I will never have to worry about that, because I don't post guys, period, it's my page, I don't post guys, I don't post my men, plural, more than one, well, really? um, did we before I say <laughs> wait before I say what uh my boundaries are with social media? Did we want to read some of the comments? Sure. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, we got a few. Keisha, you want to read some? Uh, I can. Let me see. Read, read down to where Stefan said. Uh, I'd be lurking social media. Be funny. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you don't have to always update your status or comment on somebody's stuff or hard to like somebody's picture. You just go and look, like what I just said with Courtney, you could just be like, oh, that's crazy. Keep scrolling. Oh, she tripping. Oh, damn, he locked up again. Oh, you know, you just keep alert, you know? You want to go ahead, Courtney? And I'll, I'll read after that. Okay, and then uh, Whitney said, I love when it's like that, too. Um I'm assuming she was referring to something that Ashley was saying, but I don't know what exactly. Uh, Damien said, I don't know. Educators work only eight hours uh, off. Wait, educators only work eight hours off on the weekends, holidays, and the whole summer. I got plenty of time for Facebook. <laughs> um, oh, right, so hold on. Is he saying that to say, like, he's a real man? Like, was that pertaining to... I, I think said, he's saying because you were like because you were saying a real man works all these hours and stuff yeah. like that so I think what 
what it sounded like you were saying a real man doesn't have time for Facebook. And so he's saying that like he got a real job, but there's free time there. So why can't he be on Facebook? Like, I'm just saying survey says like a lot of men don't be on Facebook. Like a lot of serious men that's like, oh, you should do this. Like, you know, like, like the kind of men that, that be talking to Kista that are that be like older men, you know. There's drunk. a lot of older men on Facebook. That's most yeah, of the no, people no, that hit on me. No, I was just about to say those are the creepy <laughs> older guys. The, the That's what I'm, like, I get what you're saying, but to say that like a real man doesn't that's be on why social I media. I did quotations because we know that that's not real. Okay. I mean, but I think well, when you we know that that we're just quoting like real men, oh, but okay, like so we, people yeah, okay. watching are saying that you're saying that that's you know a okay, real so man. You got, yeah, you guys. Uh, I guess I need to do like a a a, a legend down at the a bottom. Disclaimer. Yeah, air quotes mean it's false. It's just like public opinion. You know, it's not actual factual. It's not you know. It's not right because I mean, most of the time I don't really post a lot. In my opinion, I I might I like Share. post the pictures and stuff, but for the most part, I'm lurking on Facebook. I'm just being in everybody's business. You right. know what I mean? Especially since, like you were saying earlier, they put it out there. I'm well, being post. Matter of fact, that's why I, that's why I know I like Whitney. I'd be on her shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm but, uh, and I, I I look. I don't go looking. I don't go lurking. It just pops up on my timeline. But I if post- I see something happening in the midst, so I'm gonna go search. Like I was telling you about that whole whoever was in the argument, and I was like, don't call no names. Yeah, yeah. Let me go on that page, and I was going through all. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, Whitney said, Oh, wait, no, Stefan. Who, wait, wait, oh, we said you hitting on something tonight, Ash. And then Stefan said, Uh, nah, I don't know what kind of woman think like that. I don't know what he's talking about because we done went past it. Damon said, I love all that stuff and all that stuff on Facebook. I, I saw that when that popped up. He was talking about like sports and all that stuff when that when that conversation had popped up. Right. And Whitney said, I actually kind of prefer that too. Folks be ready to research him so bad. They do. They do. They do. Um, so, uh, oh, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Damien said, uh, real man can't even see y'all live because they don't have a Facebook ass. And then he was laughing. He was being funny. Uh, we, I, I, uh, I'll be able to let you know because I know a real man. I sent him the link. And so he's gonna let me know whether or not. That's like, keep keep reading comments. Let me text this real man. Let me see. If okay. Oh my um, my sister Cordelia said, "Be careful with that too, because he can also deny that y'all together to another female because you're not even on his FB." Thank you. That's why. I, that's why I said the first option was who doesn't have a social media, and so that's, that's why I said he's probably thing. living a double life. You know, and then that's when you got to do your own research. You gotta. Get, get your girl group together, aka your destiny's child, and y'all gotta do your little research. You be like, okay, you hit this corner. You, I mean, you gotta, cause we ain't trying to get played. No, literally, I was my sis Charlena. I was literally telling her about somebody the when I last time I was in South Carolina, and I just said his name. I didn't even say his last name. I walked out the room, used the bathroom, came in the back, um, and she. Li- I think I told y'all about this, but she literally had found his page knew his mama name and she's like is his mama name da, da, da. and I was like I don't know his mama name is, but that's him <laughs> um well, that you was, said that's this- a unique name as well if it was just huh. like a David you know you'd be like it'd be like a hundred David he does have a unique name but right I don't know him anymore so I don't know what that's about um F- F- that FDN right uh Whitney said uh this random but i saw you at the fox trot one year ash and wanted to speak because we were fb friends but i didn't feel you were approachable you know what was that (laughs) pre-therapy maybe it was before therapy you know um but yeah i'm like so cool you know but i will say i'm real cool like I, i think i've always been cool you know, I, I know I'm sassy, have a little smart, sassy mouth, but um, 
when I'm usually out and about, like I'm like focused, like I'm like, let me go get, cause I'm like shopping for my business. Like, let me go get this, 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 like I'm on the timeline. But like, whenever people see me, please speak, you know, but just don't ask me about food because it's COVID. I'm not even cooking right now other than making like sauces and stuff. Wow. And then Keista said, she's so mannish. <laughs> you are. Well, at that time, and that's really why I'm getting married well. before Keista. Hey. I just want to be able to be there. I'm changing, Keisha. Like, you see, I wear makeup now. Like, <laughs> I'm drawing on eyebrows. But eyebrow. she, but she did say Fox Trot one year. She didn't say last year. Oh, I, you, you off, were I really managed during that time. You were really oh. hardcore. <laughs> Jay Taffy Davis. He said, "Post that man if you don't want to waste your time." That's why I'm that not makes gonna sense. Post Honestly, no, that makes sense. No, no, this is the thing. No. But, the, but the, okay, Jay, okay, Taffy, how does that work if he's not local? Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, but then again, we do have Facebook friends from all over because you can, I can click on Keith's page and I'll keep clicking. I, I started out in, in Wauhees, South Carolina, and end up all the way in freaking Aruba because I'm looking at one of her Facebook friends who got a Facebook friend who got a Facebook friend. They just went on a vacation, and now I'm in Aruba. I started out in Wauhees, now I'm in Aruba. So I said that to say, I was going to say, well, it defeats the purpose of posting him because don't nobody in Marion or Columbia know him because he's upstate South Carolina. But then again, somebody yeah, would be like, sense. see, I wanted to start something. They had this thing called, um, it's this website called Ashley something. I forgot. But basically, it's a website where uh, if you're in a relationship, married or whatever, it's a, a comfort zone where you can go meet people who already know that you're married, right? Kind of like that seeking arrangement thing that you was talking about, Courtney. But it's yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, but okay anyway so i wanted to start something a website where us women when we start dating a guy or even just a facebook group where you go ahead and upload the picture you upload the picture and everything he told you like he's from charleston he's six four he don't have no kids he's a police officer he has his own place he has a car and so you'd be like you post him and then the girls be like that ain't nobody but raggedy ass Dante. You know, he got four kids. He ain't got no car. He just got out. Like, we need to do background checks on these guys because they just be lying to us. They just, and then, but you know what, what, a, what a couple guys told me when I suggested that? They said, don't do that because women that are bitter, like their exes, are the women that they don't want to wipe up or it was just a one night stand that they can go up there and say, that's just Dante. He's lying. Da, da, da. And then, of course, we'll believe it. You know, so either way, you're gonna have to do your own research. But I ain't posting no man. That's, I'm sorry. That's very true. Um, I disagree with Jay because a man's gonna waste my time if that's his plan. You know Period. what I mean? It it, and that's why I always like when we were getting back on the social media thing. What we were talking about. That's why I just I disagree with like not having social media or doing or necessarily boundaries should I say about what you can and cannot like and everything else like that because you gonna do it whether you on social media or not like like what Keisha said with the looking thing like here's the thing with me and my ex or something like that a girl would walk we would be in a restaurant a girl would walk in she got a big old booty right and me I am I'm not gay because I don't like pastrami but I I can find the beauty and I am attracted to the female body, right? So if something like that walks in, my eyes go to it. I see it. And I'd be like, you was looking at her butt, wasn't you? And he'd be like, no, no, I wasn't doing that. Yes, you was, because I was. So if I saw it, I know you did. Right. No, don't, don't, you know lie. I mean? don't lie about the ass. Like Exactly. And so if you are going to like a picture in life, you're definitely going to stare at it if it's walking by you. You're going to do it irregardless right right but i the reason i'm gonna tell y'all why i agree with jay and the only reason why i agree with jay is because it about, posting, to be, about posting the guy picture right well actually i didn't even post their picture i just tagged their name in a post and they called me immediately and they said why did you put that up there take that down right there was a sign like boom you're hiding something something else is going on and actually in due time it all came out so that's why i said i can agree with jay he's like 
he's like, just go ahead and post. Well, you don't have to post it immediately, but if it's in a few weeks or something like that, and you just even tag their name in something and they're hiding something or or they're not trying to be who they are to you or telling you and stuff like that, then they immediately flip to be like, uh-uh, you need to take that down. So my thing is, if you're trying to pursue me or you're trying to be with me, why do I have to take it down? That's still so, it because maybe they just, I don't know, if y'all no, they have never mean. interacted before, right, on social media, if y'all have never interacted before and then all of a sudden, like, like say y'all have mutual friends and y'all have never tagged each other or nothing like that. Maybe y'all have just met and then you start tagging them and stuff like that. People are going to realize, like, I didn't even know them two know each other. That's and so, true, that's the thing and then me personally, me. I'm a private person. I don't me want too. everyone knowing my business. So if we've never interacted on social media, but we have a lot of mutual friends and then all of a sudden you're popping up and tagging me and stuff like that, people are going to notice that. I don't need everybody in the world to know that I might be starting something with this person. But that's not me hiding anything. I could be telling them the truth about everything that I'm doing, but I don't want the I don't want everyone to know on my timeline. That's actually no, but, what, but what they were tagged in though was nothing to flip over. It was a thank you. I, I I mean maybe that situation, yeah, that probably did that. I'm just saying if we're talking about in general, that's not always what that means. Well, I tell you one thing. These guys are sneaky because I tried some, I tried some Instagram thought stuff. I did. And I let a guy drove me out, not flew me out. So, you know, I went on a vacation that was paid for. Do you know my I had rules in place? And first off, I don't be social media with guys. I don't be social media friends with guys like this, you know. But I told him the rules. I said, don't post me. Don't take no pictures of me. Don't do none of that. Do you know this sneaky motherfucker? He did. That's what he did. Oh, my God. And I found out months later. I was so mad. Because y'all know in the last episode, I said, I don't do like. Uh, with sexting, I don't do videos. I don't do pictures. I don't because I have a business. And then also, aside from the business, I don't never want a, a guy one up in me saying, "Oh yeah," like when we don't talk no more. Oh yeah, be and then upload my shit. You know what I'm saying? Embarrassing me. You know, this motherfucker snuck into pictures of me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" So I'm considering calling my attorney. You know, like, what can we do about this? Can we confiscate his phone or whatever? But I was just like, God, when did guys, real men, start doing bitch shit? Like, what? I swear. And then I know when he did it. I remember when he did it. Because I was, I was trying, I, I said, help me get in this swimsuit. <laughs> I was trying to squeeze into a swimsuit. And he was pissing me off because he wasn't doing it right. You know how women, when we got to squeeze and stuff, we got to... <laughs> you know, we got to take a couple breaths and shit, and he wasn't doing it right. And so I was like, just get off of me. And I remember him going, like, checking his phone, and I swear to God, that mother, he, when he was doing his phone like this, this nigga was, I was like, you dirty motherfucker. That's gonna cost you extra. I need another trip. And we locking phones up this time. But I swear to God, if he posts me, I swear to God. First off, I'll be so embarrassed. But I don't like that social media stuff. Like, I don't post men on social media. I per I post my business. A lot of it be comical. A lot of it be exaggerated. Well, not even exaggerated, because y'all be thinking I be exaggerating about shit, but it really do be my real life happening. You know, it's just funny as fuck, you know. But um, yeah, I don't I don't post men on social media. Even when I get married, you know, Courtney and Kiss, I'm actually kind of considering like. I don't want people bringing in phones for my wedding. Okay, okay, Beyonce, whatever you want. Just make sure I'm a bridesmaid. Oh, okay, I'm okay. I thought, but I mean, you're going to have the opportunity because we're going to have like the selfie booths. You're going to like, I'm going to have different photographers. Like you're going to be able to take pictures and stuff, you know, and then just, I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, 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 I get that. Them. I just, hmm. when it comes to social media and relationships, I just don't see 
there shouldn't be like that many of course i don't want you in somebody's dms asking them about stupid stuff just to start a conversation i don't think nobody wants that but i also don't want you trying to start random conversations with women just because of the heck of it because you in a store you know what i mean it's yeah. like to me i feel like people take social media too seriously like oh like because you know some women they'll be like uh i got a uh not track but like monitor my man's social media because he likes to you know being girls dm or something like that and it's like I'm you can take away his social it. media and do that in real life if the cheater is going to cheat irregardless which brings me to jay talking about you asking for trouble if you are a mature person you don't need to be posted for me to prove something you with me and we we together we you know what i mean like I just that just doesn't make sense to me to where social media aligns with your exclusivity exclusivity is that a word yes it is I learned your exclusivity or your feelings or you know like I'm not equating I that to social media I don't need to be posted on your timeline or on your stories every day all day and stuff like that for me to be like oh well he's hiding me no I'm just not posted as long as I know what we got going on in actual real life is cool right. I'll i'm not I'll gonna trip off of it all right so basically that wraps up the uh social media posting um we all said our opinions um uh, he still got to go to work tomorrow i don't know what courtney got to do but i was sexting while i was i gotta work thing. too you okay you well you're going to work too well all right then uh <laughs> it was it was lovely you guys i gotta go I try <laughs> you know you got a job so it was nice uh, you know oh we'll probably do like a a christmas eve episode i don't think we do it on christmas because people are going to be doing stuff on christmas but i think christmas eve around like the same time would be appropriate you know um y'all just let me know what y'all want to do um, i want to be i want to be festive i want to be festive i want to like if you got like a christmas sweater you got you know I don't have no Christmas stuff. Mark, Courtney. You really are. You, so you're like the meme where the bougie aunt was like, uh, you see those memes where the Christmas uh, morning or Christmas dinner, they got like the different aunties, uh, the one who orders off of Amazon, the one who just give everybody $20, the one who just do the cash app, the one who like, I'm going to send you which auntie you are, right? <laughs> I'm gonna I want to see it because I think I already know. <laughs> but uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, like I said, we'll post the flyer of when we're going to do it, but for sure on a Sunday, but possibly do like a bonus episode, um, a holiday episode on Christmas Eve. Uh, but thank you. And if you have any questions, inbox either one of us. It doesn't matter. Like if you would like to come in uh, visually, you know, you want to be one of these people on the screen down here. Are you just want to do audio? Are you just comfortable typing in? It all works. But um, thank you for watching episode four of Successfully Single. And we will see you Wednesday or Sunday. Bye. Maybe both. Maybe both.